Techno Update. Subscribe now. Why Honor 9i Review Build and Design On paper, the 2 plus 2 camera setup seems to be the most important aspect of the phone, but we think Huawei has done better with the build and design. The phone may not look as intriguing as it does in marketing material, but the aluminum chassis complete with the matte finish, gives it a far more premium look and feel than its peers. The quality of materials used is top-notch and the matte black version we reviewed looks quite appealing. The slimmer bezels around the display means one can hold this 5.9-inch device in one hand with ease. However, the taller stance and higher mounted volume rocker has you shifting your grip to reach the buttons often. Good thing is that the EMU lets you pull down the notification bar with the software key, more on that later. Camera the Honor 9i offers a 16MP plus 2MP camera setup on the back, which works on the same fundamental tech used on the Honor 8 Pro. So, here the 16MP primary camera is taking all your images and the 2MP secondary sensor adds depth data to those images. The two cameras together produce some really good images during the day in and in ample lighting conditions. Images have decent details and good color saturation most of the times. The f/2.2 aperture on the primary lens seems weak for low light, but it does a good enough job. Images taken in low light conditions have good color reproduction and at times, decent amount of details. Honor's noise reduction algorithm isn't as good as some of its peers though. Like the rear camera, the front-facing camera is also quite good. There is a 13MP plus 2MP setup on the front, which works on the same methodology as the rear camera. This makes the front-facing shooter one of the best we have seen in its price category. The camera captures good details, subjects look reasonably sharp and the beauty mode does not make your face all pink. Although, the beauty mode aggressively softens photos and even weavish skin tones come out lighter. Display and UI the other defining feature on the phone is the display. This is Huawei's first phone to feature the $18 to 9 aspect ratio. The company has chosen a 5.9-inch IPS LCD display for the job, which gets the job done. It has decent color saturation and even on this large screen size, its 2160 by 1080p resolution seems to be doing justice to the UI as well as the content. However, the unorthodox screen size means the UI often prompts the user to turn on fit to size. Performance With the Honor 9i, Huawei is also debuting its Kirin 659 chipset in India. This is an octa-core SOC, comprising of 8 ARM Cortex-A53 cores. It is made using the 16 nanometers manufacturing process and from the synthetic benchmarks we ran, it looks at par with competition. Even in real-life day-to-day performance with no gaming involved, the Honor 9 I felt just as smooth and efficient as any other device in the same price bracket. However, as soon as you bring gaming into the picture, the Honor 9i begins to stutter. Its stuttering and occasional lags are not really a deal breaker and you won't notice them unless you have a used a better phone before. Battery Life Using the phone for more than a week, we have observed that its performance is balanced out to provide better battery life. So, in default mode with brightness on auto, the phone provided an entire 24 hours of battery life with some minor gaming, 30 minutes. It loses less than 3% of charge when kept on standby for almost 10 hours, which is quite good. This battery life can be further elongated by using the extra power saving modes available in the settings. However, if you are gamer at heart, you would need to carry a power bank as the phone eats up battery very quickly while gaming. The same is true with the camera app. The sad part is that the phone does not support fast charging, nor does it use a Type-C port, 